It's a Zama C1Q S246 carb. Yeah, I think it actually focused on it. How about that? Uh, this has got these uh, metal caps in it that are a little trickier. Some folks definitely have trouble with them because they're not sure what tool they need. Uh, surprisingly enough, all you need is a, is a hex. This particular size, I'll measure it for you. Millimeters, it's uh, 1.94 to be exact. Inches, it's 0.76. That is the size of the little inlet in here, so get that in there nice and snug. And as I start to turn it counterclockwise, you can feel a slight ratcheting. Just keep turning. You'll see it start to lift up out of there. You see now it's exposed. Keep turning. And then we're free. These things work loose. Yeah, the other one was a little easier. Turn it back inwards. You line up the slot here. You want to release. There we go. Turn it back clockwise just tight enough. I couldn't get a grip on it with my slippery fingers. But uh, you turn it back in and it frees up so you got slack here. It's not ratcheting anymore. It's not caught on the, the little gear. So you see the pin on here. You line that back up with the slot. There's also an indicator. Hope I'm in the camera's view here. Line that back up. Put our, hold that in place because you'll be having problems if you don't. It was freed up, now it's tight again. Okay, let's try this over. There we go. Nice and smooth. Now don't go too tight on the way back in. This is your normal jet screws and if you, you'll damage the internals, internal passage. So here we are just back snug. So it's time for our adjustment and I'll take this one full turn out 